everyone, welcome to my channel because I know some of you guys are new, some of you guys are returning subscribers. If you are a new subscriber, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm pretty sure it's in this corner. I'm trying to imagine how this looks on YouTube, but it should be in that corner. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It would help me out a bunch and give you guys new content because I want to know like what you guys want to see so I can give it to you guys. I don't know the names for some of these, but I will list everything below. Okay, God, my hair is everywhere. It is Zappel's third anniversary. So their little swimsuits come in cute little bags like this. The packaging is really nice. So our first one, I don't even know. I'm just kind of pulling them out and however they are is however they are. This it does have a really thin, kind of like a sculpted pad in it. A lot of people don't like the padding because it is circular shaped. But for me, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, I fill up the cup tremendously anyway, so you don't really see it. But it has um, these ruffles in the front, and it is halter style, but it doesn't tie in the back. It actually clasps in the back. Clasps. That's a whole bunch of S's. I don't like it. But it does clasp in the back, and it comes with the matching bottoms. At first, I was kind of iffy about the ruffles on the side, but I guess now that I tried them on again, I'm okay with it. I do like these a lot. And obviously, everything does come with the Zaffle tag. So it's pretty cool because you know it's not like um, rebranded stuff. Like, if this is Zaffle stuff. And what's super cool is all of these items are, I believe, all of them are under $20, which I liked the best. Because I actually asked you guys on my Instagram, if you aren't following me on Instagram, I will list both of my Instagrams right here on the screen right now. I have a travel Instagram and then a more like modely type of Instagram, so they're completely opposite from each other. And if you just get bored and you want to hear me ramble about random crap of my everyday life, which who would, but why not? You can follow me on Twitter. Um, I will list my Twitter right here. And um, yeah, that's where I just kind of get real with you people. So follow me, let's be friends. Okay, my second bathing suit I got was this one. I liked it because it was a uh, kind of tropical printed and it goes on kind of like a bra. Oh my gosh, here we go. Which I was really nervous about because the waist is not adjustable. So this is the front of it. And then the back has a clasp. It's a very um, small band around. But what's cool is the um, the shoulder straps are adjustable. So that really helped out, especially like with my chest, because like you need a little bit of support when you got some some girls on you. These are the bottoms. They are pretty cheeky. They're not like a thong bottom though. They are just cheeky. And I do really like these a lot. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones, actually. So I would definitely be wearing this this summer. I kind of like it because over the summer, or just year round, I try to travel to different places. And I feel like each bathing suit has like a different vibe of where you could wear it to. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorite ones. So this one is a burgundy color. So this is the top. It's haltered has these little ties on them. I really like it. It's um, it's kind of that girly feminine vibe. Under the cup, like under the bust, it does um, scrunch a bit, so I feel like it shapes your chest really well. And it is also a clasp back, so it is not adjustable. So that I was really nervous about because I have a 32 waistband, but a triple D cup, and those two things just don't go together, like at all. So the fact that I have to buy, for instance, this one is a size large. I have to buy a large top and a large bottom. But I really like the bottom because they are full coverage. So, because you know, you don't need to be showing your booty to everybody all the time. Like, you know, sometimes you're around kids, sometimes you're around family members. If you still want to be like cute and like low key sexy without having everything out, this is definitely a really good bikini to have for that. My next one is this gray one. It is the same as, um, I think the one or two before it. It is like bra style. So it, these don't have wires in them. So when I say bra style, I totally mean like the cut and the straps. Adjustable shoulder straps and clasp back. So again, with this one, 
The back is not adjustable. You cannot tie it to your waist size. You just hope and pray it fits you. And even if it's a little tight, I mean, as long as you know your way around like a needle and thread, you can easily sew it to a fit you. So this is my next one. This one's different because, geez, oh, piece. Because this actually has a wire in it. So it's like, you see what I mean? It actually has an underwire, kind of like a unlined bra. Honestly, this was one of the most comfortable swimsuits in the bunch. The only thing is, I don't know if it's because my chest was so big, but I was wearing it around the house while I was in the middle of filming because I kept getting distracted and like laying in bed with, with like my bikini watching New Girl. But um, I didn't even realize it until I started filming that like my entire boob was out on one of them and like I didn't even realize it. So if you're big chested, please be careful with this because it's dangerous. Now the bottoms are, um, I really like them. They're, the waistband on the bottoms are not that stretchy, so please be really careful when you put them on. Because if you have big hips, you will like rip something. Like I heard something rip, but I don't see any damage on it. So I don't, I don't know, everything looks fine. The only thing with these is I know a lot of girls wear these kind of bottoms that are really long in the back, but I just feel like they're not flattering on me just because they are so long. I don't know. Let me know if you guys think that you like it, if you don't like it. This next one was really interesting because I feel like I would wear this if I was like somewhere really exotic and not like an island or something. I don't know. Like if I went out of the country, maybe if I went to like, I don't know, Brazil or something. I just thought this was really cool because it's this bright red, which when I'm tan, this will look fantastic. I'm just super pale right now and it has the white kind of lace trim on it. Now the back is a clasp back as well, so it's the same thing. If it's not gonna fit you, it's not gonna fit you and you're just gonna have to sew it. And then the shoulder straps aren't adjustable either. So it's like, you just gotta pick one that fits you and this, I got it in a size large. Um, I think it fits me pretty good. The only thing with these kinds is if it's not a triangle bikini, the sides kind of pucker out and they could be unflattering, but that's totally fixable. Like, I'm fine with that. And then this is the bottom. The bottom, I would say, is decently full coverage. Um, I'm not really worrying about exposing too much with this swimsuit. Okay, and I love these little pouches they come in. It's just so convenient. Okay, this one, I didn't really know what to think about it. Um, I saw it on the website and I'm like, honestly, I thought it looked weird, but I feel like the things that look weird always end up being the best. And I know that, that probably doesn't make sense, but I don't know. I, weirdly enough, have been to pool parties that are like Greek goddess themed. And I was like, I mean, I don't know what the chances of that happening again is. But hey, if it does, I have this one. And this one, again, I'm going to have to sew it just because it puckers on the side just because of my chest size. I don't think it would do that on everybody. I think it's just like a... I'm weirdly shaped kind of thing, so that's why it fits me that way. But it goes straight across in the bottom, really thick band, and then straight up around the shoulders, like really thick. And that is in the front and the back. Like these bottoms were so comfortable. Surprisingly, I got this suit in a medium. This is the bottom. It is really cheeky, but it's like a sexy cheeky. It's not like a too much cheeky. I don't know, I really like it. Now this next one was really interesting. I didn't know how it would fit me because it's not like a triangle where this one's like a sports bra. It's not adjustable at all. This is the way it's shaped. This is the back. It does have the circular padding on the front just to kind of cover up any like poking out nipples or anything, but all of the bathing suits have removable pads, or at least all the ones that I've gotten. So if you don't like it, you can take it out. There's like a little section right here you can take it out in. And I did get this in an extra large just because I knew there wouldn't be space for my boobs to kind of like escape. So I wanted to make sure it would fit. I do like this. The only thing is, is it fits my boobs fine. But it is a little big on my waist, which is totally like, it makes sense for it being an extra large that it would be big on my waist because I have a size small waist, but a size extra large boobs. So that's fine. These are the bottoms that it comes with. They're kind of cheeky slash mid coverage. 
What I really like about this though is this doesn't even really seem like a swimsuit to me. Like, but in all honesty, I really like it as a crop top. Like I would wear this with some denim shorts and just wear the bikini bottoms as underwear. That way, like if I'm going out with my friends on a summer day, I feel like it happens all the time that we run into like a swimming pool or something. And I'm like, oh cool, I would love to join you, but I can't, I don't have anything. But that way, I mean, if I wore it as a set, I'd be fine. Okay. Here is my next one. This one I was really nervous about because last time I got Zaffle bathing suits, I got some of them that didn't have a clasp at all. It was like cross back and you had to like squirm your arms through and like get your head through and then find a way to shimmy the cups over your boobs. And oh my God, it was like an aerobic workout. It was insane, but I ordered way too small of sizes. So it makes sense. So this is the bottoms of this swimsuit. I love this bathing suit because it is this royal blue color and it makes me look so tan. Look, I look extra Puerto Rican. It's fantastic. So, I really do love this color. The top, it's gonna be really weird to, sh to try to show you guys holding it up, but I mean, I have a try on clip that I'm gonna insert right now to show you. But this is the front of it, and then here's the back. I'm not sure what part of the clip you'll be looking at at this very moment, but you'll get an understanding of what I'm talking about, of how the back is kind of crisscross and stuff. I did get a one piece, so I really wanted to try a one piece. I always see these really skinny girls. I, that should have been my first way of knowing this wasn't going to look right on me. There is no way this will fit me. Like, It's so sad because I really wanted it to. But apparently my body just, my body type just can't do one pieces. Zaffle made this into a really nice suit. I just can't fit it because for one, I have a freakishly long torso and then like boobs like the sides of cantaloupes on like, it's just, it's just not going to happen. But we're down to our last bathing suit and this, honestly, I think I was the most nervous about filming this one on my YouTube channel because this is... I want to say this is a thong. This is practically a thong. It's not like a g-string, but yeah, it's a thong. I was terrified because I know the comments I'm going to get and I'm like, I'm just going to have people like talking shit and hating and I'm like, oh my gosh, but I don't care. What? I don't. So whatever, go for it. But this one I love, like, oh my God, I live for this bathing suit. So this one, it's tropical, it's very Melania. This one, the red one, and the blue one is fantastic. So I was really nervous though when I got it out of the packaging because the sides of the bottoms and the crotch area are the same thickness. So the band, if, do you know what I'm talking about? Like the band on the side where your hips are, and then the band like going like under like your crotch were the same thickness that I'm like, there's no way this is not going to cover my vagina. Like, it's just, no, it's not going to happen. And I was so mad because I got it. And I was like, this is adorable, but I'm not going to wear this on camera. And then when I tried it on, I'm like, this is like super cute. So no, camera, go, go ahead, see it, live it up. But this is my ultimate favorite one. But that is it for my Zapple haul. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble about a whole bunch of nonsense along with bathing suits. I will have all of them listed in the description box below. If you haven't already, please give that big um, thumbs up button a big smash. Hit it, subscribe. I think, again, I think it's down that way. So um, yeah, I always end up rambling at the end of my videos. All right guys, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.